Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another video. I'm here to give y'all yet another 2020 movie thoughts for you guys. And this is a 2020 film <clears throat> sorry, released on Netflix this year. Um directed and written by my man Tyler Perry. I really love Tyler Perry, mostly as a person, man. Um, and, you know, I was excited for this, okay? I was excited to watch this simply for Tyler Perry. It's not a comedy like he usually does. You know, every now and then he seems to do dramas, you know? I'm not saying, like, I'm, like, a huge expert on the man. But I do love him, you know? I admire him, you know? And he has the same birthday as my best friend, Bishop. Wilson, of course, <laughs> and, um, what, and, um, what this film is called is A Fall From Grace, and this is a mystery, uh, movie, uh, it's, it's about a woman named Grace, which I think might be a pun in the title right there, um, it's about a woman named Grace who, um, pleads guilty to killing her husband. Um, you know, um, but, you know, the lawyer who's assigned to her case, uh, she feels like, um, there's, there's more to the story, and she thinks Grace is innocent, even though she is saying, even though she's pleading guilty to murdering her husband, of course. And, uh, yeah, what did I think of A Fall From Grace? This movie has negative reviews. I think it has like 5 point something on IMDb. It has 17% on Rotten Tomatoes. But, dang, I was really into this film, honestly. Yeah, I've been not afraid to say it. I don't want to say, oh, this movie's terrible, if I don't mean it, I've done that too much, okay, um, I do enjoy, I did enjoy this movie quite a lot, it was, <clears throat> it was, a uh, shocking, it had, it, it, I, I liked the characters, you know, um, it was shocking, it had you wonder where this was all going, it had you wonder whether Grace was innocent or guilty, truly, you know, it, I just, I was very intrigued by this, you know, you have scenes where the, I forgot her name, the main character of this movie, the, the lawyer, uh, where she's interviewing Grace, and as she's talk, as they're talking, you know, we get flashbacks of Grace's story, you know, of the whole situation. And those are really fascinating. Those I think those are what really pulled me in when I while I was watching this movie. You know, because like I was just so intrigued by what was going on. I was like wanting to know how it was going to play in to everything else. They were twists that <sighs> that's the thing about plot twists, right? Like well, not all of them, but like some plot twists were right there in your face the whole time, weren't they? And then you feel kind of dumb when you, um, when you realize, wow, they, they told you all along, like, what was really going on? <laughs> That's how I felt, man, um, near the end of this movie. N try not to spoil it, although I'm, you know, in a way, I kind of, in a way, might have said some spoilers, but for real, though, um, I was the fast the flashbacks it's they're quite lengthy the flashbacks which i love I, that's not a flaw at all for me by the way i love lengthy flashbacks you know almost like a whole story within a story you know this the second story being the movie it's in you know i really love that you know and just wondering how it's all gonna uh come together at the end like like the main characters, the main good characters, know something's up. But what is it? You know? 
I just I enjoyed it. I found it fascinating. Um it really were the flashbacks that did it to me. And honestly, I won't lie, when the flashbacks started getting heavy, um it kinda hit me a little hard personally, you know. There was actually a line in this movie where um where um Grace uh in in a flashback while being interviewed, well, she's, you see the flashback that Grace is talking about and telling the story of, and her current day, uh, self, uh, you know, talking, saying this line, that's what I mean, she says something like, you ever, you ever feel numb, like, the type of numb, like, um, why is this happening to me? That hit me a little hard, because I think I know what that's like, you know, um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, if I have any flaws with this movie, it's just that, you know, stuff like that hit a little too hard, it hit, hit hard, you know, like, yeah, I feel like I've been there, you know. And it sucks that well the, when that happens, you know, in real life and all that. And uh, man, and oh man, you know what cracks me up? Tyler Perry, the man himself, wrote and directed this movie, and yet there is literally a line. There's literally a quote in this movie because uh, Tyler Perry, you know, he's not like a huge character in this movie, but he does have a role himself in this movie. Yes, the director is in this movie himself and somebody says to him fuck you and it just cracks me up knowing that Tyler Perry himself would have written that line and for someone to tell him fuck you <laughs> you know um but uh yeah um I was absolutely fascinated by this film I um I I I Enjoyed it quite a bit. It did hit hard, but the end, the ending was great in my opinion. Although it had one of those endings where I'm talking when I, I'm talking about the very very end, like the last thirty seconds of this movie. One of those endings where like I don't know how to actually no, I don't think I can possibly describe it in any way without giving away some sort of spoiler. But you know. um... It, yeah, it definitely, you know, I, w I would actually, um, yeah, I, I do like this movie, okay? Um, I kind of want to give it a 7, just because the, s some stuff hit a little too hard, like, you know what I mean? Um, but... I, I was absolutely intrigued by this movie, and, you know, um, I wish Tyler Perry himself had a little bit more screen time in this, you know, he was cool, um, but, um, I'll, I'll I'm gonna give this movie an, a, an 8 out of 10, okay, I enjoyed it quite a bit, I was intrigued by it, my man, Tyler Perry, in my eyes, made a great film, if you, you know, if you're into this type of movie, if you're into, like, court uh, drama stuff and mystery and with flashbacks, uh, this, I, I would recommend this, of course. I, I would definitely suggest you watch this, and, yeah. So, those are my thoughts on A Fall From Grace 2020, y'all. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have seen the movie, tell, tell your boy what you think. And, uh, if you like your boys... Um, thoughts on this film, please let him know. He would very much appreciate that, y'all. Alright, so that's my thoughts on a, uh, a fall from grace, y'all. Hope you enjoyed, and, uh, I'll, um, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.